Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Boone, AKA Supreme Public Enemy number one, AKA the boy who bricked it, AKA the dude that already had the bandana box logo but then Supreme re-released it, so now it ain't worth sh Coming at you all with a brand new video, a very exciting video because yet again, yeah, it's oh box logo week. Like, I don't know oh. what's going on, bro. It's getting spooky out here, like it's not even Halloween no more, but like I'm getting a little haunted by this Supreme shit because folks, they have decided to re Release the Supreme Bandana Box Logo T. Of course, I'm a casualty of this re release because, as you guys might have seen in my video from yesterday, I already own this box logo. So, like, yeah, laugh it up. Real funny. I was actually so ready to flex when I got my Bandana Box Logo hoodie alongside my T and be like, oh, y'all got the hoodie, but y'all ain't got no T. But, um, yeah, now everyone's gonna have this t shirt, and apparently, there's gonna be double the stock of this t shirt. So, that means you all are gonna have a really good shot at buying this box logo t shirt shirt this week um, I'm super excited I'm gonna give you guys a couple of tips in this video about how to buy the box logo tee as well as just like what resale is gonna look like for this t-shirt and all the other tees that are releasing for this otherwise pretty irrelevant week let's not beat around the brick and act like this isn't a really trash week if we didn't get this box logo tee because like the other t-shirts uh, we'll talk about it. We'll get into it. So drop a like if you guys enjoy this video. If you guys want help with cooking it up for this humongous week we're about to have, drop us up on my channel. Hit me up on Instagram with proof you subbed. I'll add you to my Discord cook group. Uh, my girlfriend's actually here right now, so I gotta hurry this video a little bit. I can't be editing all day with my shoddy. You guys will see a gruesome twosome live cop. Y'all know when me and my girlfriend are in the same room, we just start whipping it up. Except that one time I was at her apartment and I like took a super fat L. Besides that... Uh, we cook it up together super well so you guys are gonna see a two-in-one live cop video this Thursday so that's pretty exciting let's begin this video though I hope you guys enjoy today has been a really rough day for me you guys I actually went to value village and planned on doing a little thrifting video and um I learned the value village by my house the only thrift store in Seattle like literally there is no more thrift stores in Seattle um, they just shut down the value village I used to go to for all my thrifting trips so like I'm broken, bro. I'm honestly super depressed. I literally learned how to like thrift and stuff at this thrift store back when I was in high school, when I was like 14. So I'm kind of emotional today. I'm in a really bitter mood. I cannot believe they shut down my local thrift store. Like moment of silence for my value village, bro. Um, but let's get into this video today because we got a lot of items releasing from Supreme. This is a crazy week. I was looking forward to more of a relaxed week. I could have a little vacation with my girl, but no, it's back to this business, back to this Supreme brick grind because there's a lot of stuff releasing we're going to be going for on the website this thursday but let's help you all out if you're trying to make a little do re me this week i know my boys need to pay their rent we got christmas gifts this season so we got to make our money back right now this week this is how we're going to do it starting it off we have the bandana box logo t-shirt obviously this is the biggest item of the week i mean it's a box logo so like i don't even have to say that or explain why obviously this is about to be the premier item of the week everyone's going to be going for um i'm going to help you guys really fast with a couple tips maybe for buying this t-shirt um, number one I know some people are really insulted about the lightning bolt autofill scandal fiasco people are trying to tell me like bro boo, and I didn't cop because you bro like lightning bolt bullshit and like I if you want to use your own autofill go for it I'm gonna continue to use lightning bolt because we've just cooked it up all season with it but for this upcoming week I do recommend you have two Google Chrome users ready have lightning bolt autofill on one of them have Google Chrome on the other um, that way you can switch between the two if you get declined by one of them um, choose whichever profile you want to go first I would recommend if you're going for restocks make sure you use the lightning bolt autofill it is way faster and very good for restocks um, if you're checking out and you see yourself at the checkout screen super fast like you get to the checkout screen um, you fill out your info within like a second maybe wait like another second or so because if you go through the checkout screen too quickly you can get card declined and my last tip is if you do get card declined do not close that browser what why would you do that? Like, do not do it. If you guys have watched my live cops all season long, you'll have seen I've been a victim of card decline this season, but I just leave the screen open and it actually can turn to an order confirmation. That might've even happened to me for the last box logo week we just went through. I didn't 
didn't actually look at like my screen after I checked out for probably like 20 or 30 seconds. As you all saw in my live cop, I went back to it. It was an order comp. So after I hit checkout, I usually just go to another screen and like start doing something else. So I try to just leave it there for a little bit because even if it is a decline, it will turn to order confirmation like half the time. So those are my three little secret tips for copping this box logo tee. Restocks are going to be going crazy though for this tee week. I guarantee it. Tee week is one of the biggest like restocked weeks every season. If you guys want assistance in buying these restocks, we got $2 monitors on my Discord. So if you guys want to be a part of that, you'll get links every time an item restocks. You'll get a link to every size it restocked. You can click on the side. It'll send you right to the checkout screen. I highly recommend using these monitors. They are very, very helpful, especially for a week like this where there's going to be huge stock numbers. So you have way better odds of manually restocks. I will say the restocks for the box logo were insanely difficult if you didn't catch the first big wave of them that I was warning you guys about. There will also be probably a big wave of restocks in the first hour after this release. You're definitely going to want some kind of restock monitor, something that alerts you when there's restocks because once they happen, they happen. The first hour is the best chance you have of getting a restock. After that, the stock's going to be really small, so bots will probably eat, but best colorway, um, I definitely think like the white might end up being one of the better colorways just because it does have that gorgeous red box logo. And man, this is such a sick color, but um, besides that, I'd say like the black, the gray, probably the three best colors, white, black, gray. So yeah, target those three. I already have this navy color, so I'm super bitter. They're re-releasing the exact same t-shirt, but I, awesome, cool, Supreme, whatever. Um, next up, we got the snow tube. There is so much stuff dropping this week, man. Like there's a billion items. This is an unreleased item we did not ever get to see in the lookbook. So I'm super excited we're now receiving it. Basically just an inner tube. I don't know if this is like only meant for snow since they're calling it a snow tube. So I guess it's just for snow, maybe not for water. Regardless, I'm obviously gonna, oh, actually it's one on 10. Uh, I was gonna say, I'm gonna buy this cause like it's Supreme and a dumb accessory. And that's just kind of my job at this point. However, 110 family, like I don't really know inner two prices but i feel like that's kind of taxing but i i don't know man maybe we'll buy this one this would be like a funny chair in a room if you're like poor this might end up becoming a chair in my apartment when i move out who knows like a homie be broke so um this is a really cool one definitely not gonna resell if it's 110 no resell for sure so yeah i just buy this one for the personal this is a mock-up by the way i know this looks awful definitely a mock-up next up we got the aguila um, I don't know too much about any of these t-shirts. I've really not looked at this week at all, really, to be honest. I've been with my girlfriend, so I don't even know what this is. Like, we got some old lady just off the loud pack. Shawty smoking that tuca. Smoking on this tuca got me high. Kind of a cool shirt, to be honest. I wish I knew anything about who this is in this photo. Let me know if I'm slumped off of whoever this person is. They be smoking on the loud, so I rock with them, you know. Um, I, I really don't know what to say about this shirt. Will it resell? Probably not. Honestly, like almost all of these t-shirts are not going to resell right away. And if they do get resell, it'll take a couple months. What you can do to guarantee yourself some resell down the line though, go for like a large XL or small. Also try to target like black colorways. I don't know like every color they're releasing. Okay. It looks like a pink. I'd probably try to go for black colorways and white colorways. Those are just the two that sell the best. Like if you see some like orange size large, don't buy it. Cause it's just going to be a brick for the rest of eternity. Um, to get Get some profit from these tees definitely you know, the black colorways are usually the best to go and you want to get an xl or small or large size so let's keep going next up we got the bite tee Bruh, i swear like supreme is actually hiring seven year olds to start doing their t-shirt designs because every season without fail now we just get a ton of these kind of stupid little drawing t-shirts that make no sense and like just i don't even know bro like it's not cool i don't rock with it this is so stupid in my opinion i feel like this is like the fourth awfully hand-drawn little kid t-shirt we've received this whole season. I just hated the tea weeks this season. Like, I'm not even gonna BS with y'all. If they didn't have this box logo tee and the little kitty tee we're gonna look at, the other tees from this week are just trash. Like, the tees from this whole season have been awful in my opinion, but yeah. Nothing better here, definitely not gonna resell. And I do apologize if you like it, I'm not trying to crap on your opinion. I just, bro, like compared to the old Supreme tees, like what even's happened to them? I don't even know. Next up, we got the Bandana Fleece Neck Gator. They release these neck gaiters once a season just about and they always break. This one could maybe do a bit better on the market just because there's been so many bandana items this season. There's gonna be some hype beasts out there just buying these for their like all bandana IG flex picks like right before they get shot in some drive-by because this is way too much 
Orange bandana. Supreme's trying to get some casualties in this gang life. I swear to God, there's gonna be way too many 16 year old white kids walking around in Paisley now, and I'm speaking for myself as well, because I do have way too much Paisley stuff from this season, so I'm gonna miss these. They'll probably be like 30 or 40 bucks, but don't expect resale. Next up is the best t-shirt, bro. This shit goes hard, family. I am so excited about this one. Um, I was actually telling people we are gonna get a Christmas tea this season, and I was getting doubters. There was haters. There were people telling me like, bro, Boone, no way. They dropped the Nutcracker. They dropped the ornament last season. They're not gonna give us a tea. And I persevered with my BS opinion based off nothing. I was like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care about your information. I'm just gonna call it right now, Christmas tea. And you know what happened? We got the Christmas tea. The reason I did think that we were gonna get a Christmas tea this season was first off, we hadn't gotten one in like a year. Second off, it's a tea week right before Christmas. Like how can you not make a Christmas tea if you're gonna drop like seven different t-shirts right before the Christmas season So I'm in love with this one, bro. I could not be happier with this your boy just got a cat like Bruh, like I'm so excited. You already know the cat fit pick is on the way like it's already oh, inbound. Really inbound I am so excited. That they're releasing this t-shirt. I love it. Um, yeah, so fire eat me haha <laughs> pussy Yeah, probably one of the best t-shirts to go for this week I like can almost guarantee that the Christmas teas are always a really good item to target But again, I don't really see any like resale right away with any of these shirts besides the box logo So if you do buy one, I don't know if I'd flip it like day of or anything I don't know. I usually just hold all my t-shirts personally next up. We got the bridge tea um what is even going on in this shirt bro i have zero idea what this is the back is kind of cool sane smith um i don't even know bro i mean y'all know i love graffiti and shit so i do think the back side is cool i don't really know what's going on at all in this shirt though i cannot tell for the life of me probably gonna buy one for no reason like it's not really worth buying it's my job to buy dumb supreme shit so i'm gonna buy it for you guys i don't know what it even is but yeah that's something not gonna resell why do i have to keep saying that don't buy these t-shirts to resell day of guys it's not gonna happen next up the face mask polar tech camp cap and these are actually kind of hard i could actually see some resell for these um maybe like the black colorway actually like i don't know about like resell like, it looks really hard to wear this actually only your eyes will be visible i'd probably just only target the black colorway if you do buy one of these but i could maybe see it doing half decent supreme has been dropping all these face masks this season like they just want some robberies to go down or something decent item probably not gonna resell unless it's like 50 bucks or something. Um, Polar Tech Half Zip. These were supposed to release a little bit ago, but they ended up not releasing, obviously. We're not talking about them. Um, in a week like this, this is just a brick. I wouldn't go for it. There's way too much other good stuff dropping. It's not worth it. Probably gonna be like 158, 168. So like, don't do it to yourself, family. Just buy something else. Go buy your mom something nice for Christmas. Don't buy this. Next up is the Money Power Respect T-shirt, the lock. So a lot of people were thinking, including myself, that there was gonna be a locks photo tee um the locks is a rap group if you guys did not know and we did not get a photo tee obviously but we did get this which is something bro what is this like literally what is this supreme so dumb i didn't want to like waste any video talking about this because it's such a stupid t-shirt this tea week sucks fam next up is the supreme Deve like i do not stop i'm sorry i know y'all laughing at me i cannot pronounce this i believe it's french for winter someone told me i don't know how to say it though but this is actually a decent shirt uh, well on this peach colorway it looks awful let's just get that out of the way also i think the snowflakes are kind of corny but i do really just wish they had this photo as well as like the text i wish they just got rid of this gray box in general um almost a really good t-shirt on this one if they just kept this nice little painting photo with like the supreme like that would have been hard I'm not a big fan though of the dates as well. I hate dates on tees. Like 2019, who wants to remember 2019, bro? X died, Juice World died. It's just not a good year. So I don't want to see 2019 on a t-shirt, but I do love this design. I do think they messed up a little bit though. They could have made it better for sure. They just did too much on the tee. And next up is a shirt that I don't even want to exist, bro. Like I, oh, we are in like the darkest of timelines, bro. Like what has happened to Supreme t-shirts, bro? How is this a reality? How are we getting clowns like this on a tee with like bleach stain? Awfulness, man. This is one of the worst t-shirts I think I've ever seen Supreme release. People thought this was gonna be the clowns tee, the unreleased design we had a couple seasons ago. That would have been 50 billion times better than whatever this is, bro. Nobody buy this shirt. If you buy this shirt, you are one of the clowns on it. Like your face should just pop up on this shirt automatically if you purchase this because like, aha, 
no, dude, never in a lifetime. Nothing about this is cool. That is like one of the ugliest things I think I've ever seen Supreme release. Con congratulations, Supreme. Um, but next up, we got the Ear Flap New Era hat, and I would actually not sleep on these, you guys. I see some good potential for resale on this. Hopefully, it's not too much money, but this style of hat actually does pretty well for Supreme. The Ushanka that you guys are sleeping on, the I copped, um, it's going for bread, so I definitely recommend grabbing one of these. Um, box logo as well, like, bro, this is definitely a sick hat. I love that team of the century. Fire, bro. This is a dope hat. I'm definitely copping one. Um, black colorway is probably the best to go. Yeah, definitely go like black, navy, green, red. Honestly, all really cool colors. I love this design. Big fan. Definitely copping. Probably going to be resell. I just don't know retail, so I can't give you guys exact resell, but definitely worth copping. Contrast stripe beanie. No. The light blue colorway is all right. The brown's all right. The black's decent, but like those three colors are the only good ones. The others are trash. Maybe actually worth copping. I actually might grab this baby blue because I'm kind of rocking with it. I think it's far and away the best colorway. And there actually could be some like mediocre resell if the retail is right, like under 50 bucks. And next, we're just going to do all these checkerboard items at once. We got the beanies as well as the puffy jackets. Both are trash. I think these are awful, to be honest. The red and black's not too bad, I guess. I don't know, bro. It's got an ARC logo. Like, y'all know I don't rock with this shit. Just way too loud of a jacket. As you can see, ARC logo on the back. I don't know, bro. I'm not copping this. Probably not going to resell either. I don't think it's worth going for. Uh, actually, I don't even know if the beanie's worth copping. They're just so, like... Ugh, like it just not no it's not gonna match with anything I'm not rocking with these to be honest and that leaves us with a ton of bricks and my camera is about to die so I gotta rush through these the polar tech pants are trash no grandpa shit no I can't remember the last time supreme did a half decent flannel like they've just been dropping the worst flannels hello supreme put you on a t-shirt I told them to uh, so yeah, this is my outro. Lauren doesn't know, but yeah, we're doing an outro right now downstairs in the Live Cop Dojo. Y'all will see me here soon. But that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I speed edited this one, bro. Like, I really tried to go fast, so I'm sorry if there wasn't as many, like, <laughs> like funny moments. But I tried my best. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one. Live Cop Thursday. Are you, are you ready, Lauren? You don't look very ready. I'm ready. I'm stupid ready. I know you're ready. You cooked it up on Box Logo Week. We're gonna do it again. Let's go. All right, we out. I love you all. Peace.